Hey, what's up guys? Running Man here. Beautiful night in Bangkok. Out at the Shangri-La Hotel. And I was just thinking about, uh, I was listening to, in the lounge, there was a uh, lounge singer singing Blue Moon, which is like a classic song, right? Old, old song. And it just brings up, uh, by the way, there's a beautiful moon up here, which I was thinking about. Uh, but it, it just brings up the kind of timeless feeling. And what it really brought to me was, I think one of the biggest things that traps guys is the desire to leave a legacy. It's just, it's something that is so strong in guys and it, it's, it's so difficult to fight and at the same time, it has, it has good in it. You know, there's, there's, there's good desire in the desire to have a legacy, to be important, to leave a mark in this world is something that most men really feel is important. You know, we, we want to leave something, you know, we want to leave, we want to, we want to leave children, we want to leave DNA, we want to leave something that has meaning in our life, right? So it's like, it wasn't, I guess, I guess the desire is to think that it was worth something, right? That my life was worth something. And I, I, I first I want to talk about the good aspects of that, because I think, I think that guys that that are hopeless, right? So, so let's say that you, you, you don't feel there's much hope in your life, right? And so you don't want to have a legacy or you don't, you don't see it as possible. So, so for example, somebody who has personal problems, you know, uh, they have a drug problem. They, they don't have any desire to leave a legacy, right? Because like a legacy is, is it's a positive thing, right? It's a, I think, you know, the desire to, to leave a legacy is a positive feeling, right? It's, it's, it's not a negative feeling, right? It's like, man, I want to make a difference in this world, you know? And the thing is, though, at the same time, is that that desire, which is a good thing, causes us to throw away a lot of guys, I, I believe, to throw away their lives. And I'm going to make an argument here and let me know uh, what you think, because this is a very difficult topic. It's something I've almost hesitated to do for a long time. And I'm out here, and I was just thinking kind of, heavy thoughts and I, I, I thought maybe I'll try to attack this today uh, but okay why do why, why do most guys want to have kids maybe they're a big town maybe they understand that they don't uh, you know that women aren't you know they don't have the best they're interested the best interest in mind but they think well you know uh, even though that's the case you know I want to have children I want to I want to leave something in the world right I want to leave my DNA right I don't want to leave the world uh, like I didn't matter, right? I think we want to matter, right? Guys want to fucking matter, you know. That's why we're that's why we're doing stuff, why we're studying stuff, why we're improving ourselves, right? We want to make a difference in the world, right? And and then what is that difference? And and and, and really, what does it matter? And if it doesn't matter, then 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 what does it mean, right? You know, because I think I think uh, if you look at like DNA, just pure DNA, right? Seven generations after your, let's say you have a child, right? And then seven generations later, uh, that child, the the grandchild, grand grand great great grand grandchild, will have very little DNA in connection with you. In fact, the the um, the child seven generations later. Uh, will have less in common with you as a stranger. So as, as any random person in the world, like, sitting over there eating, right? They have very little in common with me. Well, they have 99.9% .9 in common with me, actually, DNA. But seven generations later, they have even less in common with me. So the desire to leave a legacy, to be important... Okay, think about this. Uh, let's talk about your parents okay you obviously know who your parents are you know what they like what kind of food you know what they you probably know very likely you know what they you know desire in life and what their goals are what was what's important to them right okay so let's let's think about your great-grandparents right so what do you know about your great-grandparents I myself know a lot about my great-grandparents because uh, or sorry, my grandparents, because my grandparents, I was very close to them, uh, and they were important to me. You know, I used to go out and visit them in Minnesota. I talked about my uncles before, 
but my, my grandparents were, were cool, like a big deal. Like I used to go out and, you know, go out and see them and like, it was a great break from where I grew up and, uh, and they were older and they cared about me and it was great, you know, and so I know a lot about them. But okay, now let's get to great grandparents. My great grandmother, I only met one time and she was in bed, she was in a hospital bed and I don't even remember her name to be honest. I, I was pretty young when I met her, my great grandmother. And she passed away soon after that. And she didn't speak English, that's one thing I remember. She didn't speak a word of English. Like literally she couldn't even say anything to us. And she was just speaking in Finnish. And uh, I was like, whoa, she doesn't speak English. You know, I, I was pretty shocked actually, you know, because I thought if you have a relative, that I, I was pretty young, right? I thought if you have a relative, they can, you know, you communicate with them, right? But uh, I couldn't, I, I really couldn't, my great grandmother, I, I couldn't communicate with her, right? She was, uh, she didn't speak English, she seemed very nice, very kind, uh, from what I could see in the hospital bed. Obviously it wasn't much to go on, uh, but uh, it seemed like, you know, it felt important to me as a kid. Right? Okay, so let's, let's, give, let's give it a break. Let's, let's say that I knew my great grandmother. But that, that really is, I'm pushing the boundary of reality on this one because I met her one time, I couldn't speak with her. Did I really know her? You know, sorry. Did I really know her? That's, that's questionable, right? You know, it's not like, I can't say, oh yeah, you know, I was, I was very close to my great grandmother, right? So, so I really didn't know my great grandmother. Let, let's go another generation back. Great, great grandmother. I don't even know their names. Like I literally don't know anything about them. Like nothing on both sides. And if we go one more generation back past that, I would suspect my parents don't know uh, anything about them. And essentially they've disappeared. Uh, they, they've, they've into the vapor, you know, into the, the sands of time, you know. And uh, so, and this is my family. I mean, we're, we're talking my family here. So think about your family. Think about who, you know, in your family, like, who do you know and who do you not know, right? And, and what I think you'll find is, is, it, is it doesn't go, you don't have to go back very far in your family to not know anybody or not know anything about them. So I think the idea that you're going to create a legacy and that you're, you know, like essentially humanity is going to remember you is what we, kind of as guys is kind of what we feel, right? And, I, and like I said, I don't think it's all bad. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying like nihilistic, the world has no meaning, go out and start stabbing people. I'm not saying that. I'm really not saying that. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a very difficult thing what I'm trying to say here. And I'm not even sure, to be honest. Uh, but I know this, that trying to create a legacy and trying to have children, right? Have a wife, have children, in order to leave something in the world, or let's say have a company, right? Like I, I personally like to start companies, but why do I want to do that? And what am I trying to do with that? Am I trying to create a legacy with that? Think about your, again, think about your great grandparents and if they started companies, do you even know about the companies? Do you know what they did with them? And do you know what's, what's important about them? Do you know why they did them? Do you know how they did it? Do you know the struggles they had? You know, and, and you probably don't know anything, right? But let, let, let's look at another example. Here's another way to look at it. Okay, so I was, I was uh, yesterday I was at the uh, Jim Thompson house. Jim Thompson was a American who uh, was a silk trader in Thailand uh, back, I don't know exactly when, when it was, but he died in mysterious circumstances. Many people say he was CIA. Uh, you know, he, he was very wealthy. And now, since he passed away, his silk company is now really famous. So, like Jim Thompson, uh, his house is a big tourist attraction, and if you go to any mall, big mall, you're going to see a Jim Thompson uh, store, and in the airport there's Jim Thompson um, clothing, and you can buy Jim Thompson silk and all this kind of stuff. So, in some ways, he's like the luckiest guy ever because he passed away. He 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 mysteriously died in the jungle. Like some people think he had a heart attack, some people think he was CIA, some people think he was kidnapped. Uh, there's a number of things that 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 like you know theories about his death, but essentially, let's look at it this way. He was a guy who was not that famous in real life, right, in his life, but then when he died, he became really famous. Like, Jim Thompson now in Thailand is, is pretty famous, you know, like, 
if you look online, look at Jim Thompson Silk, you'll see he, he, he's out there. I mean, he, his name is really out there. Okay, so, so let's say that he's the type of guy who people do remember, okay? So, but, okay, now let's analyze that a little farther. What do, let's say, let's say you're Jim Thompson's grandson or great-grandson or whatever it is now. And you're wealthy because of your, you know, great-grandfather or great-great-grandfather, whatever. Okay, you know his name. You know he started a silk company. Uh, you know that he lives in Thailand. You know that he was wealthy. You know that he was intelligent. He was aggressive. And he started a business. And he was, you know, smart. And he knew about silk and all this kind of thing, right? You know all these things about him. But do you really know him? If, you, if Even if you were his grandson. And even if he was Jim Thompson. So if you're listening to this video and you're, you're, you say, I'm going to do it. I'm going to create a legacy. I'm going to be remembered, right? Let's say you're Jim Thompson, okay? So he was, he was one of the luckiest guys because after he passed away, he got more famous. Like if he came back to life, I was talking the other day, if he came back to life, he would be shocked that he's remembered because he, his life was not that big. But then after he died, his story was very memorable and everybody was kind of curious about how he died. And, you know, he lived in Thailand so long ago and he was so successful. And so it, it's become a, a bit of a, you know, a, a legacy folklore you know and so in one sense he's the most remembered type of guy that that can be you know he's he's really nailed it right but even Jim Thompson like I know Jim Thompson's name but but I don't really don't know anything about the guy like I if, if, if he came back let's say there was a time machine right and I said uh, Jim you know uh, and he said what do you know about me you know, what would I be able to say? I would, I would say like some boring things about his company and he would say something like, well, all that was created after I died, you know, that my name just kind of became famous and so these people created companies under my name and Jim Thompson became a household name, but I'll tell you about myself and he would start telling me about his car and his girlfriend and, you know, things that, 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 that didn't make him famous, just things that he personally thought were important, right? So. Even a guy like him is not really remembered. Even if his name is remembered. Is Jim Thompson, is he really remembered? You know, when Bill Gates dies and, and say, you know, several generations later, are they going to really know who Bill Gates was? Like his real, you know, the way you want to be remembered, right? You want to be remembered like they want to, you want them to know who you were and what you stood for, right? Damn it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and, and would, would they do that? Probably not, right? Probably not. So, again, I don't want to be nihilistic. I just want to say, like, the faster I think you accept reality as a MGTOW, as a guy, the, the, the better off you are. And I don't mean, like, throw everything out the window, you know, don't care about anything, you know, but just to honestly look at life, you know, just honestly look at it, like, what is a legacy? Why am I having this kid? Because I think my theory is a lot of people have children because they, they're almost like robots thinking, well, I'm going to leave something, right? But again, after a few generations, even your own family won't remember you. Your own family. And you can just look back a few generations, like I said in the beginning, and you can see very clearly that you don't remember people in your own family. And even if you did, like Jim Thompson, Say you had a famous relative like Winston Churchill or something like that. Would you really know? Would, would Winston really be so happy that you knew? You know, would Jim Thompson really be so... You know, would he, if he came back from the grave, would he be like, I feel so great because everybody remembers my name and my legacy, right? Would he be like that? No. He would probably be like, you know, people don't really know who I was, you know? They think I was this silk guy. You know, they think that's all I am. But actually, that, that wasn't me. You know, I loved this thing, and I loved this person. And I, I, I lived this life, and this was what was important to me. And the reason why I did this is this reason. Because our true desires as a man, and our true goals and internal, you know, important emotions and feelings are, are not visible. And a lot of people don't even understand us who live with us today. You know what I mean? I would even question whether if you're married, you know, if you were married or have a girlfriend or you have a, your parents or whatever, I, I would question whether they really know who you are right now. Like really know, you know? And so 
I think that we need to put that in the back of our mind and just to realize that no matter what we do, our legacy will never be what we want, okay? And, but at the same time, I want to say this, and I really want to say this, and I, I really think this is important, is that the desire to leave a legacy is, is a positive one. It's, it's, it's a man wanting to make a difference. You know, we talked the other day about uh, men, men becoming men and, and the, the rituals that men go through, you know, to become a man. Even though those rituals don't really make you a man, really, they're important and they feel important and 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 if you do them you feel good you know so i think that the desire to leave a legacy is a good thing i think the desire to create you know and i said this before but i think one of the things i i, I think of myself someone asked me what's the meaning of life i say like like a plant okay like one of these trees here what is this tree doing essentially what it's doing is it's growing and it's reaching up to get the sunshine as much as possible. Those leaves are stretching out to, to photosynthesize as much of the energy of the sun as possible. And the branches here, they're reaching as high as they physically can, okay? They're growing as high as they can and reaching as much life as they possibly can. I think that's the, I think that's the purpose of life for us as a men is just to do as much as we can to grow to spread our wings and to to create as much as we fucking can you know and now i think that's a positive thing i think that's a good thing and and whether people remember it uh whether it's a legacy you know whether that even means that word even means anything that's just not important you know i think that i so i would say i want to close with this to say that the desire to create the desire to be something the desire to be all you can be essentially for lack of a better term right is a great thing i think that's a great thing and i and i and i don't mean that it will matter i don't mean that i mean that that desire that that positive energy and striving will create a better man in you and it will make you a better man it will make your life better because you went farther you know, the fact that I, I, I learned so much and I traveled so much, I, I think it's important for me. I feel great. I'm so glad that I, I lived the life that I live. You know, it, 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 it makes me happy, you know. Now, whether anybody remembers that later, that, that, that's not really my concern. And I, I really am not expecting that. And I, 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 would, have no, I would have no factual basis to, to be expecting that, you know. But I know it. I know what I've done and I know I know when I don't do my best you know I know when I when I when I when I fail when I don't see things clearly when I make a poor decision you know and I don't feel good about that so I have a desire to be better I have a desire to create I have a desire to grow and to be more but at the same time I realize I realize that in the end that I will die alone and that the, the, the legacy that I left, I think the legacy is in the moment that you're, you're living. It's kind of like a motion picture. A motion picture, you move the camera and you can see a little bit of reality. When I move this camera, I can see a little bit of reality here. But as I turn around, there's a lot of stuff behind me you can't see. And I think this is what life is. It's in the moment. What, what you're filming is your reality in the moment. And then as you move along, your, your reality changes. Uh, but you can't create it all. And you can't save it all. You can't, even if you recorded everything in your whole life, you wouldn't have time to watch the tape because it would be 80 years long, right? You know, if you had 80 years of tape, you couldn't watch it if you're 80 years old because you can't live to 160. Not yet, right? And if you even lived to 160, then you'd have, you'd have a, a 160-year-old tape, right? And you wouldn't be able to watch it. So what is life? Life is, it's like a glimpse in a pinhole camera. The original cameras, they had a pinhole. And you looked and the light came through there and that and the light then in, uh, imprinted on the negatives. And, and, and in motion pictures, it was imprinted on negative, negative, negative. And that created the illusion of a motion picture, of a moving picture. And I think that's the closest thing to our, to uh, human beings consciousness and reality 
uh, that we the best uh, that I can think of analogy of what life is is just that that in the moment enjoying it in the moment and being everything I can be in the moment not for any greater good not because I'm going to be remembered you know if you want to have children go ahead and have children but it's, it's not because you're going to it's not because you're going to create something that's going to last right it's just because like this tree you just want to grow up and you want to have kids okay fine go ahead that's great there's nothing wrong with that as a, even as a big tower whatever whatever you want to create is fine right no one can tell you oh because you're this you can't do that fuck that no way you know you can create whatever you want to create and if you feel the desire to have children and you want to create children and you want to teach them stuff and that gives you happiness like this tree if that's part of your growing and reaching up to the sky that is great but if it is for another purpose if it's for a fake purpose like a, a, a being remembered purpose because no matter you know I spend a lot of time traveling right and when you travel you see a lot of stuff and one of the things you see is, is quite often is graveyards and I've seen all kinds of graveyards I've seen so many different interesting graveyards in the world as I've traveled like I, I saw one in out near Pakistan where it was like these little pyramids it was so cool it was so cool and I've been to like the Père Lachaise Cemetery actually a few times in, in uh, Paris where Jim Morrison's grave is uh, there's often a party there it's great actually uh, and they move his grave around you know partiers they'll, they'll pick up Jim Morrison's grave and move it around but when you look at someone's grave you know it a lot of graves if you look at cemeteries around the world no matter how solid they seem they could have all like say like marble and stone and the guy's a wealthy guy and so he he really spent a lot of money on his stone right but even then, if you go to old, old graveyards, even those ancient ones, like really heavy, the, a lot of times I've seen situations where, you know, it's obvious the guy was a very wealthy, like, businessman, right? So he spent an enormous amount on his grave, right? But then, you know, like, like uh, the water eroded the dirt away from the whole graveyard so that the stone fell over, you know? It wasn't because the stone got ruined, but because the, gra the dirt underneath the graveyard disappeared, and with it, his whole casket and every, wherever his body was is all gone now, right? And his, the stone of his his um, of his uh, his headstone is now sideways or upside down or whatever because uh, it just washed away. You can't you can't create the type of legacy that guys want to make. Your life is in the moment. It's 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 this second. It's this second. It's this second. This is what you're leaving. This is what your life is. And the more you understand and accept reality, the less you'll be tricked into scams, business scams, scams from women, scams uh, to, that you should do this because this, you know, you should do this because you're going to create this or create that. It's all bullshit, man. Do what you want and improve your judgment so your judgment is better and better and you can make better decisions and you can see reality better and better so that you don't fall into the trap because that's what people will try to do they'll try to use these things to create fake legacies that you pay for you pay your life with right fuck that all right Rona man signing off have a great night and know better do better live better